Hello and welcome to my BTI final video project in video formation. That was weird. But yeah, welcome. Have fun. Enjoy the show. It's not really a show, but you're gonna have fun. And I know you will, even though I'm really awkward in this video. And Crystal Ray. Viva Crystal Ray! I have a list that they gave me for, um, well, Mr. Vizcaino gave me for, um, guidelines, I guess, or what I'm supposed to complete. So I'm just gonna, um, go through the reflection questions, um, the research project, and the BTI self-evaluation, and the BTI reflection. So, <clears throat> I'm just gonna be giving you guys some examples. I'm sorry if I try to be funny, and it's not funny. So, um... Yeah, that's pretty much all I'm going to be doing, a brief description of what I was reading off of. So if you see me looking down or, um, yeah, just looking down, that's what I'm doing. I'm looking at the questions and reading. So thank you. <laughs> um, um, how is workplace communication different from communication outside of the workplace? Hmm. I don't really have to think about this question because whole two weeks we've been saying shake hand firm handshake do not talk to them no slang well don't talk to them in a way that you would talk to your friends um no slang no what's up dog what's Bruh. yeah none of that um what are technology skills why are they so valuable to the workplace well when you go to a workplace almost all of the data, records, anything, whatever you want to call it, is recorded online. Um, you're going to have... Three. Question three. It, um, it says how... It says every job is a customer service job. And it says how does that quote um, explain the meaning of it? How does that quote apply to the every work situation scenario type thing um well firstly when you're in a corporate work environment or any environment that has to do with jobs you're always going to be dealing with people because that's what a job is it's to be last but not least first impressions um first impressions can be made in the first seven seconds of meeting people one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Not six, five, four, no, seven. Um, and that has to do with handshake, eye contact. Again, you're going to be hearing a lot of that in this video because we heard a lot of that in BTI. Um, when you make eye contact with someone, they're going to be like, oh, okay, they're, they're interested in me. Or if you stare at them like this. They're going to be like, whoa, that's kind of creepy. Um, firm handshake means that you are ready, you know what to do, you have stuff done. Usually when you meet people like that, you're like, whoa, they know what they're doing. But if you have a dainty little handshake, that's like, oh, I'm kind of shy, I don't want to. That was the first section that was reflection questions. Now we are going to go to flipping the paper over. Uh, hmm, self evaluation. Um, <laughs> BTI self evaluation. Okay, we're we are now going to transition into the next section. The section that I'm going to do now is the BTI self evaluation technology um i would rate myself on a scale of one to ten hmm. about a 7.5 this is why um when someone gives me an assignment and it's on the computer i'm very um i think i have a strong um I guess skill i'm strong in this area of copying down information onto the computer so um i can you can give it give me a piece of paper with something on it i can edit it i can workplace communications i rate myself an 8.5 on that maybe a nine because 
when I'm at a workplace, I know how to speak a little bit more proper than I would do with friends or family. Um, I feel like I can approach the executives. I'm very comfortable around adults, especially. First impressions. Um, sometimes I feel like I have the tendency to talk a lot and that leads some people to believe that I might be a little bit conceited or um, I might be a little bit older or I might seem more mature than most people. Um, and uh, sometimes, people, sometimes people think I'm a problem child because I um, talk so much or because of the way I handle myself. Um, so I rate myself about a 7.8 um, because I feel like um, my handshake can be a little bit better, my eye contact can be a little bit better. Sometimes when I'm passing um, Mr. Barry or Mr. Viscaino in the hallway or even Miss Bird, I tend not to make a lot of eye contact and sometimes that affects some people's first impression on you as I said in the other video. Um, so yeah. Elevator speeches. Okay. Elevator speech. I feel like I am about an eight because this is why. Because I am bold enough to not write it down on paper and to only have notes and then just to kind of pinpoint the little ideas and then memorize them in my head and then have it down pat. But the thing is that that's not good, not really note taking, actually writing it out. Um, and when it's time for me to go, actually when we had that little um, friendly homeroom competition, everybody was like, ever, somewhere like Jessica, I was like, no, ever can go. I'm not going to go up there in front of everybody. I'm comfortable speaking to a small group of people, but I am not comfortable. Um, it's kind of outside of my comfort zone to be speaking in front of like 160 kids, which is a pretty good amount. <laughs> um, <sighs> downtime. Isn't that just wonderful peace and quiet? No. You have to kind of manage it. And I am I would like to say I'm about a 7.8 maybe. Because um, when you are in an office, a big office by yourself, it's easy to get distracted. And I'm distracted fairly easily but not as easily as most people are um so i will manage my time correctly um and wisely um kind of organize my stuff um ask for more assignments um maybe get a drink of water if it's my break um but sometimes i can get distracted and caught up in conversation with um my supervisor or another co-worker so um that's why i rate myself that okay um, understanding what to do and what not to do in the work program. Um, I understand what to do, I understand how it was done. At first I was a little bit hesitant because um, I was like, wow, I'm going out with a, couple, with a couple of people I don't even know. And I started making friends, I was like, oh, that's cool. And then I found out I'm going by myself to a job filled with people. and a big business in the city of Atlanta. Coming home during rush hour. Okay, yeah, that's kind of a little bit of room, maybe a closet space of room to improve on anything, even if it's jump roping or brushing your hair, yeah. Behavior during BTI. I am known among my friends as the talkative, very weird, eclectic person. So I'm so surprised I didn't get jugged. And I try to act like a little good girl. A little. Hmm. Well, I, don't, I don't have double or dual personalities for the teachers. I'm not fake. But um, I tend to control myself, my talking, um, to a minimum when I'm in the BTI because I, I don't want to miss a thing. I don't want to um, miss something that's very important. I don't want to get in trouble and get jug and get in trouble. Get jug. Get in trouble. Um, <clears throat> yeah. And it's just 
I would rate myself about a 9 on that because I've only had someone say Jessica one time. That was Mr. Barry. I think so. Sorry, Mr. Barry. Um, <clears throat> oh, sorry, my throat hurts. Um, yeah, so about a 9. That's pretty good. Because um, there's, as I said, the last, last, last section. Oh, hey. Oh, Ways room to improve. I probably have room to improve on this video because it is probably not as good as I anticipated um, or as you, whoever is watching, anticipated. Effort during BTI. Okay. Um, effort during BTI. Ha 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 ha. ha. Well, I feel like I'm, I'm a 9.8 because always room to improve. Okay. Um, because I take notes, um, I'm very precise, not precise about my notes, but I know I know myself, so I know how I should take notes for myself. Um, order, write down my um, the little schedule in the beginning or the morning, and if I don't, I remember to get it from someone. Um, I feel like. I'm very organized with my stuff, way more than I was in middle school. I am thanking the Lord for helping me because I was a mess, a big one, like my hair used to be. Okay, <clears throat> probably stills. Um, yeah, so I give myself about a 9.8 because I feel like I, I took that nail, and that hammer, and I went, you stay <laughs> organized. Yeah, I have made it into two sections. And now we are going to section the race. Okay, yeah. It's that, it's that serious. Now, I'm sorry if the video's long, but it, you're gonna have lots of fun, buddies. Okay, the next section is B, however you make a B, T, I, reflection. Okay, so yeah, I'm just going to be answering the questions again. Yeah, that's it, and I hope you like this section. Yeah. What skills have you learned in BTI? Typing, definitely. Big number one in typing. Awesome. Because I used to be horrible at typing. Um, home row was my biggest fail in BTI. <laughs> I've been pained. But I've gotten better at it thanks to that website typing web. I think web, web typing. That's what it is. Slash tutor. Yeah. I remember whoever taught that class. It was Mr. Berry. No. Yeah, it was. I think. Don't judge. Okay. <clears throat> yeah. I think I improved greatly on typing. In what ways were BTI? Good for you as a learner. Well, that was very preppy and weird. Okay, well, I think that they have help, 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 help. <laughs> I think that they helped me learn an alternative way because I usually am a visual, have to watch something with my looking spheres also known as eyes if you want to be boring and um have to be hands on touch it i learned about the lotion just touching it yeah okay whatever um yeah um i feel like i learned to kind of contain myself and not speaking a lot and then I just go blah 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 well, um, I feel like I've I've improved a little bit more in um, note taking, learning, listening. Actually, listening is very I feel like 
it's very good for me. That was that was nice. That was that was a nice touch, you know. Um, I feel I contain my energy because I am usually bouncing off the walls. Literally, I'm a jelly bean on coffee and a five hour energy. Times three. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, I've learned to contain it. So literally when I'm in the car it all comes out. It's like it's in there. It's during all during all during school I'm like this. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh that's that's funny, Solomon. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Then to pay attention, you know. A little bit of that. And then the car it's whoa! Big pate. End of the day. Yeah, a little party in the car. We go to quick trip and eat a donut. That's not the point. But yeah, I feel like I've contained my energy a little bit better. You teach me to learn a little bit of, you know, like that. Good job, you guys. You guys do. What could the staff do better to help me learn or help just in general? Pretty good question, you know. That's that's a nice. I feel that you guys did a phenomenal, phenomenal job teaching Jessica Holmes and the rest of the ninth graders. You guys, this, 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 and this, you guys were like choking us, but then you asked if we were okay later, you know? That was that was awesome. I love how you guys put that fear into us and then kind of like eased it away. Yeah, that was nice. That was a nice touch. Very nice. Um, I feel like what you, what the staff could have done better. <laughs> I don't, I don't think that has to do with. Let's see. I feel like um, we should have been. A little bit more organized um, with where like when it comes to like the guest speakers or like when it comes to like events that happen like um, the when we got the uniforms it's not really an event but it seemed like a little less organized um, I feel like overall the teachers did well Miss um, Mr. this guy you know Miss Bird Mr. Barry Miss Pecco love you guys are awesome um all the um administration miss bush um mr medley father van dyke you guys just did awesome and i couldn't have been more honored to be a student and to still hopefully be a student in the future um learning from you guys because you guys seems like you really know what's going on and you know how to do things and i appreciate that from you guys i am going to speak like i'm speaking to the students um, it says, what advice do you have for students in BTI next year? Don't be scared in general. That means to ask questions, to go to the bathroom, <laughs> to, um, to be, don't be scared of the teachers. They might seem a little bit scary at first. Don't worry, I was scared a little bit at first. It, it's everything, it's going to be nervous. It's going to be nerve wracking. You are going to be nervous. It is okay. <laughs> perfectly fine you see i just messed up it's okay um appreciate the spot that you're in because many kids have tried and have prayed for that and they did not get it so just be proud of what you got and just be honored kind of of what you got because you have amazing teachers you have amazing people around you and just enjoy it just enjoy it because it's the best for you okay i know this isn't part of the project but i think that this will be a little bit helpful on what to do and not to do during BTI. First one, the correct way to shake a hand. Hello, my name is Jessica Holmes. Nice to meet you. How not to shake a hand. Second one, how not to walk into BTI.
I'm here. Stop, Miss Bush. Stop, Mr. Barry. How to walk into BTI. Good morning. How to act during prayer. How to act during prayer. How not to act during prayer. Jug. Wait, I, I, no. Are you done, Father Kenny? Jug. How to speak to teacher. Good morning, Mr. and Ms. Kenny. Now, how are you? How not to speak to a teacher. Yo, Mr. Barry! <laughs> Do not act like that in class or disrespect a teacher because these are some of the answers that you would hear if you use some of these questions. Yo, Miss Bird, when we get out of class, like, um, for you it's after school because you have jug. Don't you just love that word, jug? J U. G. Yeah, and if you speak to the teachers like this, or even act like this, you'll see some of the examples in a minute. Yeah. When we get in out of this class, bruh, I don't want to take my feet off the desk. Jug. I'm late for class. Um. Hey, Miss Father. K hey, what's up? Um, do I have to go to the to the office or um? Jug. Jug. Hey, Mr. Best Guy, how you doing? I don't like you. Did you just say that to a teacher? You just you just said that to a to a teacher. What? Oh, oh, he's out of class. He said, Oh, he just, he just, he just came in. He just came in. The answer and the comment will be jug, jug, double jug, two games of jug, and jug. And jug. And jug. And jug. And this is how you may feel on the inside. <laughs> but you shall only act like this. Yes, sir, or yes, ma'am. I'll see you after school. This concludes my video. I'm sorry if it was not what you expected, but this is the best I can do. Try to be creative, so thank you for your time and consideration, and hopefully I'll get a good grade on this. <laughs> just kidding. Thank you for everything that you've done for me. I just want to give a big thanks to the teachers, especially Mr. Biscay, you know, um, and Ms. Pecco. They've been very um, lenient and very nice to me, and I just thank you for everything. You guys are very nice, and you guys are just amazing. I would look forward to being your student um, and graduating um, from you guys in 2018. <laughs> now it is time for the bloopers. Yay, blooper time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How not? Oh, how, how, okay. Hi, I'm Mr. Biscay, you know, um, uh, I forgot. <laughs> I am a proud student at Crystal Ray Jesuit High School.
of Atlanta. <laughs> um, I don't know why I just left. Okay, well, um, this is supposed to be my video for um, BTI final wrap-up project, I guess, and I have my notes. Oh, don't judge. Hi, my name is Jessica. Um, I'm here and just... Good morning. <laughs> Wait, I messed up.